fake camera motion 2.0 just a small update doing a little housekeeping and some cleaning up of course you know the preset is 100 percent free and the link is in the description but of course all donations are well and once you download the preset and install it jump into davinci resolve under the effects tab to find it so go to effects go to search type in fcm you either get a, a list of the preset or you get a drop down menu arrow just click it and you'll get all the presets i'm gonna bring in some footage real quick the newest thing is the zoom and rotate if you drop that on your footage just like the previous preset it will actually zoom in over time and in the face tab you can have all your controls you can speed it up slow it down however you want to i changed the motion blur too where you get full control you click it you get all the options just like you do in the fusion tab and strolling down the menu i was requested to add a rotate function to the zoom and here it is here and go in and actually hit rotate check it on your footage will then rotate and zoom simultaneously now this clip is kind of long and it's set to go over the duration of your clip so if you wanted to go faster you go into your time scale and speed it up the rotation is only set to 60 degrees you can change that too by either just scrolling on the numbers or going and typing in like say for instance 180 or even 360 and based over the course of the clip it'll make a full 360 degree rotation previously you can speed up the animation by just going to time scale so instead of the 2.0 which is the default you can increase it say for instance to about five and you notice it happened a lot quicker you also can change the animation flow too by changing the in and out from shine to anything else on the list or changing from expo to anything else on the list if you know anything about animation curves, you can slip and go into curves, go to custom, create your own curve. It actually has an S curve here, and you just grab the points and create easy in and easing out. Now with this S curve, it'll start off really slow and then it'll ramp up really quick and then slow back down. So if you don't want the footage to rotate, just simply cut it back off. And the rest of the controls are strictly just for the zoom. The default zoom is set at one. You can increase it to five or however you want to. The higher the number is, the further it zoom in. The offset is simply just a starting point. It started at one, but if you want to start kind of zoomed in, you can just change it to like two, three, or whatever. Change the time scale tells you how quick to perform the animation, and the time offset basically gives you more or less like a delay effect. So you can instead of having instead of your effect occurring at the beginning of the clip, you can have it occur maybe at the middle or like right it towards the end and happen real quick. You do have a standalone rotation too, just in just case you don't strictly just the rotation. You got pan up and down and pan like right to left Now these are by default i think it goes to the right and by default you think it goes up and of course when you add one of the effects to the clip if you want the opposite effect just go into the effect tab and go into invert check it now with the pan it said it negative one on the offset so you don't want to change it to zero and once you set to zero over the course of time it'll drop the footage down if you go if you hit invert again you have to go into the offset and type in negative 1.0 they'll make your they'll that would then center your footage and over time it will just go up from there i also fixed the handheld camera shape i didn't realize that it actually wasn't working if you didn't have the preset that i have on my computer to use it so i redesigned just using the built-in camera shake effect it's very subtle but of course you go into the go into effects and you can change the parameters there i also have options of motion blur as well now diagonal motion just basically kind of goes diagonally on your footage it's pretty much the newest thing that in the zoom rotation controls <laughs> now real quick before i close out the video i forgot to mention if you go into the transform window here hit the drop down menu, go into fusion overlay it'll actually give you the pivot point you actually can go in here and actually change the pivot point with the zoom comes in real handy so if you put the pivot point there over time the clip will zoom in on that particular point so if you want to zoom in or target or, or focus a particular part of your clip that's how you can do that with the pivot point now, whatever parameters you set in the inspection tab, when you originally use this clip, you can just replicate that for any of your clips going forward. If you have any problems with the effect actually rendering, you right click, go into the menu and render out cache for the fusion effect Just click it and it should begin to render. Cause sometimes I know when I use it, it doesn't bring up the render bar at all. And sometimes it will. So that's good to know. That's gonna do it for the fake camera motion 2.5. I appreciate you watching. The link is in the description down below. Now feel free to leave any feedback or requests in the comment section below and I'll see y'all next time.